I've come down today to do a spring carp session. It's, it's early March and it's a really, really iffy time of year. There's been times in March before when I've caught 100 pound of F1 shallow and there's been times when I've won matches with 20 pound. It's just the temperatures are up and down, cold nights, sometimes you get getting up warm a day and the water's still cold and the fish just, um, they don't know what's going on half the time I don't think and they're just sort of waking up so um, you've got to be really really careful how you fish in March because it's so easy to overcook it and it's, you know, it's so easy to ruin your peg you know just before you've even started basically by putting too much bait in so um, today I've come down to Kipax Park Fishery local to me in Leeds I'm on the, the Lapwing Snake Lake here it's a typical snake lake it's about 40 meters across it's quite shallow it's three three foot probably I'd say down the middle it's quite shallow and it's very very clear and um, so I've just come down for a few hours in the afternoon. Didn't think I was going to get a film to be honest because it's been raining. And I'm going to show you how to fish pellets at this time of year. Hard pellets for carp. Because it's quite interesting really and it's, um, it's definitely something I feel uh, is better than fishing soft pellets and corn and expanders, things like that a lot of the time. So um, let's get over there, get fishing and see if we can get a few more in the net. So I've got a banded six mud pellet on the hook. And all I'm going to do is just fill my kinder pot right on the end with several 4mm hard pellets. Off we go. Fishing about 40 and a half metres over there. It's a little bit of wind coming down. And I haven't fished this venue for about 5 or 6 years. I used to come and fish a few of the opens here. And I can't believe how clear it is to be honest with you. It's really gin clear. You can see right uh, right down a few feet a uh, few feet out can't believe I've not had a bite on bread in uh, in water so clear but the temperatures are starting to creep up a little bit now now we had 10 11 degrees last week it's about five or six today although it doesn't feel it but uh, it must finally mean that the fish want a little bit of feed because um, as I say I've caught my first carp of the year about 10 minutes ago about eight pound on this line and all I'm doing I'm just tapping in a few pellets you know literally four or five no more right on my spot there I've got it lined up with a, a reed on the far bank um, and I've got my my four here on my pole as well as the reference so I know I'm bang on and uh, yeah what I want to do today is just show you really how uh, how little bait you need to catch carp at this time of year um, it's so so easy to overcook it and I see so many people you know destroy the pegs so early on and um, just getting my rig in here nice it's, uh, it's a bit windy today it's, it's got up actually since I've started fishing I'm on a uh, 4 by 12 which is about 0.2 of a gram float it's just about holding holding bottom there Fishing hard pellets today because I'm a massive fan of uh, of the kind of the noise they make for carp. I just think it's the the best way of catching them, especially this time of year and uh, autumn as well. And the water's a bit colder, and uh, I think if if there's a, a few F1s around or if you're fishing solely for F1s, it's probably better to fish with uh, with softer baits, soft pellets, expander pellets, feed micros smaller baits especially when you're fishing over to a feature like this but uh, for carp hard pellets are just unbeatable for me you know when you get a bite you know it's going to be a, a proper fish and um, you know you, you feed what you've got on the hook or, or just a slightly bigger pellet last, like, like I'm on today and it's a lovely time of year because you don't get many line bites the fish are still lethargic um, if you do get line bites then you've got to look at your feeding if you're getting a lot of indications of not converting them or foul looking fish you're probably feeding too many pellets and as I say all I've got in a minute in this peg are those five pellets I've just put in it's a real game of patience as this carp fishing 
and I've changed my fishing quite a lot in the last few years. I used to do mainly, almost exclusively F1 fishing. I used to be flying about all over the place, you know, trying different lines and being really impatient, um, which sometimes you've got to be for F1s, you've got to keep putting fish in the net. But for carp, it's a different ball game altogether. You know, when, you, when you're only needing, you know, 10, 20 fish, you can afford to sit there and wait for them. And carp fishing on these kind of venues with hard pellets has, has taught me the last few years to be to be patient, really, and uh, I'm putting more fish in the net as, as, as a result. It's also taught me to you know keep my fishing very simple uh, and only have a you know rig simple rigs, only bait a few areas of the peg at once. You know, so you're not uh, confusing fish and breaking breaking any the shoal of fish and you peg up and having too many fish in too many places you know if, if there's a fish there like hopefully there's a fish along that far bank today if there's a fish there it's and it wants some feed it's going to find my little trap of bait there and i'm going to catch it so uh, that's that's the idea of what we're doing today fish on I'll be quick to get it away from them reeds but luckily they're uh, quite lethargic still these fish so uh, you can get a, an upper hand on them quickly before they uh, seem to know what's going on I've got 12 to 14 slick in today it's just my favorite winter carp elastic you know you, you're never gonna get broken or you know lose fish by it by hook poles and things in, in open water or well, as long as it's not ridiculously snaggy and it's uh, even at this stage you know if it, if it powers off and flies off down the lake I've got enough stretch there in this elastic to uh, to hold out it's going a bit now just bring it round this corner a bit looks like a good fish actually it's like a nice fish So easy does it here. There's really no rush at all. You only need a handful of fish at this time of year. So there's, there's absolutely no point bottoming, bottoming out your puller, pulling the reds off and risking you know pulling a small hook out of them. So you just make them count. That's, that's what I always aim for. If, if you get one, then uh, the person next to you, if you're in a match, has got to get two to beat you. So just keeping that pole low. Not going to pull its head off, and when it's going to be uh, when it's going to be ready, then I'll get the net straight in. I don't like putting the landing net in, as you as you can see. I'm not putting my landing net in the water just yet. As soon as you start doing that, it's anything that's you know any fish, F1s, carp, they just bolt straight off, you know. So you try and get them at the first time of asking. So I'm just uh, stripped quite a bit of my puller off now to be a, a nice mirror actually I think easy does it again just taking my time if it's gonna go off I'll let it run if not I'll lift the pole up and try and get him up towards the net there we are nice fish oh a good one actually for this time of year. And, uh, just going to show you the hook hold actually. I'm just going to get the uh, the GoPro on and show you the hook hold here. It's right in the top lip there, and that just shows that your rig's working correctly. You know, you're not fishing too far over depth. If it was right down the, the throat of the fish, you'd, you'd know you're not seeing the bite quick enough. But that's that's we're really, really happy with that hook hold actually. Right smack in the top lip, we've nailed it. Go. Look at him. Probably about you know getting on for seven pound. That nice chunk. Let's pop him back. Right, so now it's a case of repeating the process and just setting that little trap again. So once again, a 6mm band on the hook, just like that to uh, stand out of my 4 mils really. I think sometimes 6mm, feeding 6mm can be a bit too much really this time of year. 
until you start getting problems with line bites. And for me, it's, it's four mils all the way. Top lip again. Put popping back, but again, that just shows the importance of when you're fishing pellets to fish them at dead depth. So plumbing up to you know the, the base of your, your float bristle, but a little bit of body I like. So when the plummet goes in the water, you lower it down. You feel the plummet hit the bottom. I like to have about that much float showing, okay? That much for me is too much. To me, that's about an inch over. And again, that's probably too little if you plump to that because you've got to incorporate and bear in mind the, the weight of the plummet stretching the line. So um, to me, that's about right. So just to quickly show you my hard pellet rig, if you've watched my video on pole floats, you'll see that the Malmum Rube in a Titan wire or a steel wire is the only float I use virtually for carp unless I'm fishing really really shallow water they're just really really stable and they just work really well and it's very easy to you know lift and drop them and, and be fishing straight away with the bristle settling so two mil bristle and uh, as I said in the video um, I use a two mil bristle all year round for carp and I'm just I just alter how much tip I have showing so literally because it's so cold now and the water's clear i've literally got a bare minimum a tiny little blip um because you're not getting line bites because the fish fish are very lethargic still so uh, it's a malmon rube and we're caught up on my box a bit there got it out it's a simple because it's only shallow it's a simple bulk simple bulk of stots i've simply got six inches of 016 uh to an 18 MXC one hook, and as it gets a bit warmer, I step that up to like a gauge to an MXC two. Um, small hooks still, you don't want a big hook because you just foul up fish because you know the, the fish aren't daft, they won't tolerate it this time of year. So, very, very simple rig. Right on the end of the tip, I've got the flexi pots, that's just a sprinkle pot that just allows you to tap a few pellets up. Right next to the tip there, you know, literally a few centimetres or so. So you bang on your bait all the time. As I say, I've just got some four mil. Uh, let's see if I've got some. I've got a 
make it 4 mil um, amongst the tiger nuts and some 6 mil for the hook and it's literally, literally use a handful, that's all you need and a few hookers and you can have a great day's fishing or a great match this time of year get out there, give it a go, don't blow your peg too quickly have a look on bread still but don't waste too much time on it and then get on hard pellets because it, it just works so well for carp going into spring please give us a like a subscribe something any support anything like that a bit of love and see you on the next video hopefully thank you for watching